As you're aware, HISD is on spring break next week. We will be at five locations. We're looking at adding additional locations so our families can pick up food and meals for their families. Uh, then we are closed the week of March the 23rd. Next week, we're also cleaning all of our facilities. That's why we chose this method of partnering with the Houston Food Bank to be able to provide meals to our family. I want to thank the Houston Food Bank and also thank the uh, Rodeo Houston for donating the uh, leftover food from the rodeo to help support our families. It's very important. I think you can see by the lines here today and the number of families that are waiting to receive meals. It's my understanding that families got in line as early as 6 o'clock this morning and the event started at 9 today. And I think about families who are earn an hourly wage. If they don't work, they don't earn income. And so I think the heightened sense around businesses closing, schools closing, that people are just trying to make sure that they can feed their families. So it's very important that we stand in the gap to help our families. But we're also calling on other agencies to, to partner with us so that we can reach as many families as possible. We're looking at trying to get up to 10 sites, if at all possible, so the food bank is assessing what they have and what they can do, and after the, uh, this today's event, we will look at trying to add additional sites as early as Monday or the latter part of next week, and then moving into the week of March the 23rd. Is that because you guys see how many people are here today and how great the need is? Yes, yes, and that's what we wanted to do. That was one of the reasons we were doing this single location today, to be able to assess what we needed to do over the course of the next several weeks. Remember, we're talking about two weeks now, but we don't know what happens, uh, what will happen in the next two weeks. So today, uh, vegetables, fresh fruits and vegetables, uh, protein type items, but things so pa families could actually cook a meal. So are, are you concerned about the, the high level of demand? I know some other It's always a concern about meeting demands because, like I said, this is a little bit different. We are feeding an entire family. When we open our school sites, we're feeding normally uh, children up to age 18, and then sometimes children between 18 and 21 that have special needs. So the demand is great because we're trying to feed the entire family. Very concerned about what happens to our families over the next couple of weeks. It normally a family of four, uh, feeding a family of four. I know you're practicing social distancing right now. Um, what do you say to the people who are in line? How can they kind of practice that? Place? Same thing, keeping the distance between themselves and another family, making sure that they're not touching. This is the hardest part, uh, definitely, of my job right now because I'm used to interacting very closely with families and our students. And so this is hard. This is a new normal uh, for our entire community and our country. What other agencies might We're, you know, hopefully, I know local churches are starting to cl close down. They're going to do a lot of online streaming. But if they're uh, churches and or the other organizations that house or have food pantries on their uh, campuses or in their businesses, we'd like for them to donate to the Houston Food Bank. And then or people can make monetary donations to the Houston Food Bank so that they're able to purchase meals and support our families.